Well, I drew trees today and I drew a dead white guy on a horse and a horse, a dead horse, and one little bit of a balustrade. And while I did that, I talked with some other folks and talked about the upcoming show with Urban Sketchers. And that is about it. Rode my bicycle, ate some lunch. So I guess I did that. So I'm looking at the drawings I did today and just wondering how I can make them interesting or if they're interesting enough the way they are. So I'm gonna take some pictures of them as they stand just because this is how they were finished. Okay, I don't want you to do that. Delete photo. These are all vertical formats. Can we just do it that way? I sort of had an idea that maybe I was going to try to maybe kind of animate them. I had, I had a plan when I went there and as often happens when I get somewhere I change, I see something and I change my mind and that happened today, kind of, after a fashion. There were two trees that I was sitting next to. And these are they. Oh, I forgot I drew a skyscraper being built. Ignore that one. My, my intention had been to do some drawings of the equestrian statue of Washington at the front of the park, public garden. And I ended up, okay, if you were, if you were up, wait, there we go. Um, and I was planning on animating it so it sort of looked, you know, like it was real, moving, alive, but it just was not functioning in the way that I wanted it to function. And then on the way there, though, I saw these trees and I thought, you know, these trees, like the one you're looking at right now, it's just, it's just arms and fingers all twisting about and I thought that was kind of neat so I thought well maybe I can make them animate them but I was sitting on my fat ass uh, on the bench uh, Initially, again, I was thinking I would sort of rotate around the trees that I saw, but I ended up not moving from my fat ass. So here are the pictures I just took. So let's let's see. Can I can I somehow divide them up and? Okay, that was that tree. This is that tree. That tree. This was this tree. That was that tree. That was that. 
the ones I did of the equestrian statue. Statue. Here's George Washington's shoe. There's the horse's testicles. Can I say testicles on YouTube? Here's George Washington's face and the ear, the ear of the horse. Of course, there's that shoe and that shoe, shoe and hoof. George Washington's hoof and the horse's hoof. This was George Washington's epaulette and the horse's head. Same thing here, sort of, kind of. But, and I did a few others, but they were not of, they were not making, they were not sparking joy. So, let's pretend these are sparking joy. So, I'm going to move this up a little bit, if I can. So I can see what I'm doing, and you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go to O Snap. New project. Trees. Portrait. Done. Back camera. Create. Start shooting. Okay, so... I thought maybe I would sort of look, make it look like it's moving and animating and twisting and turning in some sort of way. So, start with a close-up. Snap. S You're probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, that would be make two of us. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing either. I'm sort of moving up the tree. See, these two are somewhat similar. This is sort of fatter. That's sort of where I was. That was close up. These Whatever these trees are, are they beech? I really, they're so much like human skin or elephant skin. I guess elephants aren't humans, are they? Last time I checked, they were not human. There are 15 frames in my in my movie. Shall we see what it looks like? Well, hello, Portugal. Let's see what it looks like. Play. Oh, I don't want it to go slower. What do you think? Hello. Um, I'm going to go to this, even though this is a completely different tree, I'm going to pretend it maybe isn't a completely different tree. I can zoom in again.
I'm trying to sort of imply that I'm looking up. Oh, no, this was the tree I was, I'm confused. This is, this is the tree that I, these are not the same tree. You can see that clearly, that they're not the same tree. But we'll pretend they are. So what do we have? Let's see what this movie, is like here. Am I ready for my Emmy? Do I get the best picture award? I'm going to pretend that we get the best picture for us. Say, create video, render video, and I'll share video, which means I put it on the camera roll. Done. Done. So, now, I think I'm going to leave these just the way they are. Should I see if I can do the same thing with this? So, well, how are you doing? You're, or you're doing well. So I talked with a, a, a journal keeper and choreographer and what else did she do? Pen person, um, mother wife, all sorts, she wears all sorts of different hats and um, she was um, sort of fun to talk, talk with this morning. So, I mentioned you, Ms. Marilyn. Um, and your she's one of these people who um, who the book, the sketch book, has a very um, sensual part of the of the of the render of the what is the journaling unlike you or I who um, sort of take whatever we can can and do. So I wasn't, I hope I didn't slander you, Ms. I, uh, I didn't hear the part till yeah. after you said that you mentioned me in a video. Okay. <laughs> I mentioned you in the video. We talked about other journals and she... Yep. She, she has her journals like uh, Alicia uh, Adventure Denali uh, and maybe Minimal Scholar. They, they have these, the books have a preciousness to them that, uh, you know, leather binding and a leather strap that you tie all cozy. And you and I don't do that. We sort of just grab the book off the shelf. <laughs> I'm just like, I, I tried doing that with my first journal and it went to hell in a handbasket. The little lock broke off. It, yeah. the, it I is, lost the, the, the little tab key thing. I was just, yeah. whatever. <laughs> so um, anyway, it just, it, it's just interesting how, what, what parts of the, of the writing process each of us 
values a lot. With you, it's the the letter form that you make, and I think the ink color you use. Whereas with with uh, a minimal scholar, it's very much about the ink color. Um, but his handwriting is all relatively the same. Mm. Um, and adventure miles kind of all over the place. <laughs> well, your yours is all over the place because you write naturally, which is, as you said, Bad. impossible to read. But you also know different <laughs> kinds of calligraphy, so that's why it's different. Right. So, yeah. Raj, would you like to join us? I was drawing Suraj yesterday. This is what he looks like when he doesn't have clothes on. Well, he's prettier, oh. prettier than this, but I thought that was the tree that you were just taking. I was showing the tree, but upside but this, down. This, this is uh, it. You know, these trees do remind me very much of bodies and yeah, or, or that's what I thought it was for a second. Bodies, yeah. <laughs> We don't know. We don't want to know what it looks like, but we do. We know what it looks like. We don't have to tell other people what it looks like. So anyway, uh, so these are some of the drawings I did of Suraj yesterday, and then I started making because I want to animate these as well. So I I took two ones at random, and sort of tried to come up with what would happen in between the two. So there'd be yeah. more of a a smooth transition. So these are the ones that I made. I think I've made one stop motion in my entire life. And if that didn't win the Academy Award, I don't know what will. I mean, this thing went on for like an hour. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. And after I got all of the pictures and I put them in my program, it took like three seconds. I was like, oh my God, I'm going <laughs> to this is hard. How does how, how what's did this Walt, do it? How did Walt Disney do it? How did Pixar, well, oh, five million gosh. people doing it? I think of people like um, the guy that did the Nightmare Before Christmas. What's his name? Uh, Burton. Bert, Tim Burton. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't know how. Like that just it blows my mind. Like all of the working parts, just uh, and it's all clay animation. Like, oh my god, I yes. would go crazy. Stop, stop animation, yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm making other other surudges, surudge. Oh boy. I'm I I'm not drawing him in person, but I'm just rem right. using my little imagination. There you go. Which so I went for a bike ride yesterday, and I went around all the town. Okay, oh, and, and it was a lot of fun. And I almost got run over by a car, and that well, was exciting. The, you have to make, <laughs> remind yourself that you you are in fact and, uh, of, you're, uh, treat yourself as an invisible vehicle. No one can see yeah. you, you, but you have to follow whatever rules you possibly can. Um, yeah. Or get run over. So I have to pretend like I am exactly like I'm the unseeable vehicle. Yeah. Pretend you're an invisible bus. That'll give yep. you enough enough uh, <laughs> ability to to uh, get out of the way, maybe. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm thinking about now. I'm thinking about ways to help me get around town. I, I know I'm going to need some sort of mirror. Or mirror device, so I can see what's going on over my left shoulder. Because I don't know if you've realized, but I kind of have a wonky eye, and it doesn't I, see very well. Oh, I didn't realize that. Uh, no, um, I have a lazy yeah. eye, and it doesn't see very well. It sees motion, but like it doesn't, unless I like close my eye and then I fixate. But like, yeah, it's kind <laughs> of a lazy eye. Well. Um... Wake it up and get it yeah. get, get it fully working before you <laughs> hop on your on your bicycle. I don't I don't have a problem seeing motion, but like but like fixating on certain things, like I can't see I can't like make it move unless I close my one good eye and then I don't know what's coming at me. It's it's a very very fine line of 
being okay and not being okay. So I've been, I've learning to take being the okay and foods. being fully panicked. I, I yeah. would be, I would be, in fact, I would be a fully uh, <laughs> uh, screaming. Uh, but anyway. down on the floor screaming. Yep. Now, do you have in your in your vicinity? Do you have bike lanes? Yes, we have bike lanes. So I'm learning how to take the bike lanes, and I'm also learning how to take the side streets that don't have many cars on them. Yeah, that's so, good. And neighborhoods, and it's very interesting. I took a way to the store the other day that I felt like I was in a totally different city. It was so weird. Like I just never gone down that street before, apparently, and uh -huh. it was weird. That was like transformed into a different place. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was just uh, right next door to my house. <laughs> I, I, when you, when you, when you do ride your bicycle, or you will end up going in many places that you've never been before, and you will. Uh, it's actually quite fun. Yeah. Uh, um. So uh, this is supposed to be you, Siraj, bending way backwards. Here's your nose. Oh, wow. Um, That's way backwards. Like, I would break my back if I did that. <laughs> well, he he probably could do this. He Siraj is, is a... Uh, uh, Siraj and Russell both can... Uh, can, 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 can turn themselves into a human pretzel oh my goodness and, uh, i used to be able to do that when i was younger but if i tried to do that now i'd probably hurt something yes i, I, <laughs> I end up I, permanently in that position <laughs> I, the best i can do is i can be a human pile of mashed potatoes that's that's sort of my my food <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i'm baking a Banana cake right now with chocolate chips. Okay. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> I was going to ask how your diet was going in the middle of, well, I, in the middle I'm not of asking making... that. But when you said that you were doing it for ch chocolate chips, I thought I, maybe I won't ask. But I, 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 I don't bake for myself. I, so oh, good. I bake for the house and I bake for the exercise that it gives me. Oh, good. So, yeah, I'll have like a teeny like one by one inch square of it just so that I can be like, okay, is this going to actually taste like food or should I just throw in the trash? Because I, I was taste testing a recipe for a strawberry cake and it takes a lot of it takes a lot of like structure to make strawberries hold their shape. Uh -huh. So, and I, I didn't know that. And the first time that I made it, it tastes like baking soda and flour. And it was really disgusting. I think I forgot to put the sugar. So it, was like uh, it does sound the worst like, strawberry bread you've like ever something, had. Something was missing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Uh, it was definitely missing either sugar or something because... It tasted like strawberry, mushy strawberry bread. Yep. Yes, it was missing the sugar and the spice. And in fact, it was missing everything nice. Yep, probably missing a little bit of everything. Yep. Oh, well. So I learned my lesson. And uh, the second time I made it, I used more flour and less baking soda. And I blended the strawberries and I put bait and I put lots of water in it to make the bubbles go. And oh. some lemon, and it really came out most excellent. Oh, good, good. Well, out of out of disasters come triumph. That's right. So don't be able to fail. Don't be afraid to fail. Just do better the next time. <laughs> when, when I moved into my place here, and I had a real kitchen, my mother got me a a, a book from. Better Homes and Gardens or something. It was, was cooking for one or two. And she would, she would make little notations in the margins saying, oh, God. saying, I tried this. It's yummy. Or this sounds good. Or one of them was triple the recipe and eat it all. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yep. 
So I don't Sometimes know. you just have to triple the recipe and eat all know. of it. I don't know if she was trying to have me triple the recipe for two people or triple the recipe for just three, but yeah. I, I, don't even re I don't even remember what it, it was. Something like sloppy joes. I mean, there, none of oh, these things yeah. were were very complicated. Yeah, uh, but it's really a sweet little thing she gave me, and I do you think still I, have it? I do, and I haven't done oh, a thing wow. with it. I haven't done. A, I I don't think I ever made a recipe. The only thing I well, ever used to cook that I liked mm -hmm. to cook or enjoyed cooking were omelets. I love just oh, yeah. using, you know, a half a hen house full of eggs and just piling yep. all sorts of onions and cheese and mm -hmm. vegetables and pepper and sour cream. Yeah. And, but um, but it's the other things that I I don't deal with. Well, if you could do me a favor and send me a picture of the cover, I would be ever so grateful. Oh, well. I'm always trying to find <clears throat> when I when I see these recipes in books, they're assuming that you're cooking for a family of four, I and see. I'm like, well, I'm either cooking for myself or for like 21 people, and there's like no in between. So, yeah, see. well, let me let me get the book. <laughs> I have it right here. Hold oh, on. yay. Bonsoir, Suraj. How are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? Meals for one or two. Oh, a guide to small Ooh, scale. And it's, you can see that it's like it has four pages in it. Uh, <laughs> 1970, 1976. And she, oh my god! Yeah, I mean it's it's quite old. So wow. Um, I mean it's it was long before I moved here, but I'm just trying to find the where she said. Oh, try the. Try the bacon salad, something like we do. Triple the recipe and eat it all. <laughs> That's too funny. So it's it's just uh, this is Better Homes and Gardens magazine just compiled mm -hmm. things like this for so right pork and ham. What does this one say? I'm not good with pork chops except just frying them. Uh, on the oven for 45 minutes and the pork chops were, were thin and they were sort of very very dry and when yeah. i would do pork chops i get a pork chop that's like this thick mm -hmm. and, and i cook it like a steak and it probably yeah. i may not cook it enough but it was hungarian frankfurters good she says hungarian mm -hmm. so what was that picture of it was a fish. that Oh, that's a fish. Oh, that's wow. A, with an eyeball looking right at you. What is that thing? This is, uh, those are, look like french fries. Yeah, fish and chips. Fish and chips. Ooh, yum. Uh, you know all there is to know about omelets. <laughs> so that's the omelet page. So tuna salad plate. And, you know, they're not, uh, these are very simple recipes right that she thought that i could i could uh manage well i will definitely have to look for that book on a pdf um <laughs> i th i think you could probably find things that are much better than this that are more modern and more fun just look. Oh, I, I'm, not, I'm always looking to try different things <laughs> well recipes for, re just google recipe good recipes for oh, yeah for two and eat only eat half of it just <laughs> eat the recipe that it is and eat half of it yeah oh, oh, sorry excuse me oh well i um it's still nice out i went out to the to draw the trees today and it's too nice a day for me to sit inside so i am going to go outside i think okay but i will I, see you later I, I just had an idea to do something with these tree pictures and 
by doing it publicly, I was able to do it privately. All uh, right. I guess so. See ya. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.